<clears throat> okay. Um, basically, in this episode of Wrestle Talk, um, I'm going to be talking about two different topics. First one is the It All Begins 2012 video, which I didn't see till this morning because I didn't watch Raw last night. And the second thing is WWE suspending superstars. Okay, so let's just start off with the It All Begins 2012 video. Um, basically, WWE released this promo about a kid reading stuff from the Bible. And it showed just a bunch of random creepy stuff. <clears throat> basically... What I think this is, yes, I think it's a returning superstar. But people are speculating all different people. They're speculating Chris Jericho, Undertaker, Kane, Batista. Hell, even one guy thought, thought it was Chris Benoit for some reason. Okay, this is what I think about it. Obviously, it's not going to be Chris Benoit. He's dead. I don't think it's going to be Chris Jericho, because he said he's never going to wrestle again. Although, he could be the interim general manager, so that's a possibility, but I don't think that's the case. I don't think it's Kane, because WWE released another promo about Kane. Like, him breaking glass and then throwing his mask down and everything. And, what does Kane have to do with the end of the world? The only thing that links with Chris Jericho is his name, Jericho. And Jericho has something to do with the Bible. I don't know because I don't read the Bible. And Chris Benoit's dead. So. Basically, there's only one possibility out of those five. Actually, um, Batista. Oh yeah, I forgot about Batista. I don't know about Batista. I mean... Yeah, they're offering for Batista to come back and everything. But, I mean, seriously, what does Batista have to do with the end of the world and all this other crap? I mean, it's like... Batista is the animal. He's not... a guy... He's not a deadly person or anything like that. Although... Age 43 on the YouTube page, actually. Batista was... Is turning 43. That's actually something very interesting. But I don't think it's Batista. I think it's Undertaker. Undertaker is the one that makes the most sense with this. Because the Undertaker is about death and all this stuff. He sure wouldn't and like be the end of the world, but I mean, he's about death and everything, and the world will change as you know, blah, 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 yeah, you guys probably know where I'm getting at next, also, I have one last theory, the people that believe the end of the world is 2012, which obviously isn't going to happen, but everybody thinks 2012 would be a bad thing. For the people that believe in it. Which I don't believe in it. I don't believe in what's going to end in 2012. But the world will change as you know it. Sounds pretty bad. This prediction you guys are probably thinking. Oh that's the stupidest thing ever. Unsub. Click. Another theory of mine is Matt Hardy's return. I mean, Matt Hardy went to a WWE rehab. Yeah, he may have been kicked out, but I mean, Matt Hardy is a bad thing right now. A really, really bad thing right now. And they could bring him in as a bad thing. But honestly, I don't know if the Matt Hardy thing's going to happen. It's a theory. It's a wild guess. That's probably the last thing that would ever happen. But it's a guess. Okay. So, Prediction, Undertaker, Theory, Matt Hardy, the rest, I don't think so. Now, let's get to WWE suspending superstars. Honestly, I think WWE should stop suspending superstars. They suspended Darren Young, Heath Slater, R-Truth, in a matter of a month. 
Sinkar is even suspended. He just hurt himself. I mean, WWE should stop suspending superstars. They're running out of talent to put on their SmackDowns and Raws and NXTs. So they should stop while they're ahead. Is let's see. Slater's been suspended. He can get put on SmackDown either as a jobber or in an Intercontinental or Tag Team Championship division. Darren Young is on NXT. He's gone. Well, it's suspended. And our truth is in the middle of a heated rivalry right now. Why would you suspend him? If you suspend one more person this year, that would be so stupid. Because... It's the end of the month. Next month. Um, I don't see any point of suspending somebody because it's going into the new year. But don't suspend anybody next month or anybody else this year. I'm sick of it. You suspend three guys within a matter of a month. It's ridiculously stupid. Like, our truth He violated a comp company policy. Which one? They don't act specific. Like, a wellness policy suspension for? Come on. Wellness policy means doing good at your job and not getting hurt. This is the WWE. People get hurt there, and you're suspending them for it? Like, Sin Cara, he got powerbombed through a ladder. They thought he was on drugs. Did he get suspended? Yes. And they bring in Hunico in, which Hunico is good for the company, but he's not good as a black Sin Cara. And Darren Young... What did he do? What did he do? Yeah, they might think he's on drugs, but I mean, it's like... Honestly, like, do a drug test. Test him without a drug test. Also, let's just say the drug test screws up. Test the damn guy. And, uh... R-Truth. I can understand if it's mouthing off to the boss or breaking a really, really big PG rule, then you could suspend him. But what did he do wrong last night or at the Survivor Series? What did he do wrong? He entertained us. That's the right thing to do. Alright, that was the end of the last episode of Wrestle Talk. I hope you enjoyed my rant. Um, my room, my new room's probably gonna get done in a month, so I'll do a room tour. And see you guys later.